Welcome to this week's installment of Choose Your Pop, the AV Club's arbitrarily bite-sized debate program brought to you by Good Fins. This week in celebration of the return of House of Cards, we're going to talk about some of our favorite pop culture involving political corruption. Ooh. Uh, joining me is film editor Alex Dowd, deputy managing editor Caitlin Penzimoog, editor Sean O'Neill, and me, I'm television editor Eric Adams. Just a reminder that you have 20 seconds to give your pitch for your pick. So we will start with you, Alex. Go nuts. Okay, my pick is John Frankenheimer's 1962 The Manchurian Candidate. Uh, it is basically about a political conspiracy to uh, sort of to sort of get a uh, American military uh, officer into uh, into politics, basically, and he's sort of a. Um, he, he's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> Your time is up. Uh, yeah, Katie, Twenty seconds is really short. Twenty yeah. seconds is very, very short. Uh, okay. Katie, uh, learn from Alex's mistakes. No. Don't stammer. You've got twenty seconds on the clock. <laughs> Tell us about all the president's men. Okay. So my pick is uh, all the president's men. Uh, probably one of the most famous journalism books ever written. Turned into a great movie. Um, Woodward and Bernstein uncovering the Watergate scandal. A great sort of story into the nitty gritty of journalism and how unsexy it can be. Uh, fascinating, fast paced, super good read. I'm done. Wow, <laughs> you Six. did way better than I did. Way better. <laughs> and probably the first time Woodward and Bernstein's work has ever been associated with the term sexy. Unsexy. Unsexy, Unsexy. Still. specifically, yeah. but still. Sure. Unsexy enough to get a man out of the yes. White House. <laughs> uh, Sean, you've got a particularly uh, applicable topical choice. I gotta go with Fight the Power by Public Enemy, probably the greatest modern protest song ever written. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a song essentially about racial structures, but it's something that every uh, disenfranchised white boy can also get behind. <laughs> uh, it's a simple message, it's uh, militant, it fights back against institutionalized uh, corruption, and I'm done! <laughs> Very good, you got in under the wire, however, we do have to deduct you some points for not delivering your argument in the form of a rap. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just wrapped the opening verse, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just wish that you could hear a white guy talk about public enemy for longer than 20 seconds, because who doesn't <laughs> yeah. want to hear that? Well, you uh, know, that's all the time we've got here on uh, <laughs> uh, Choose Your Pop. But before we leave, I've got 20 seconds to talk about Veep, HBO's continuing satire of how American politics is totally broken. And the PR, uh, the elected officials, as depicted through the Selena Meyer administration, as both vice president and eventually president, and then a post presidential career. Uh, everybody's totally incompetent. They don't know what they're and doing. It's bad. And, uh, yeah. and we're out. And it's a funny show. And whatever. it's a very, very funny show. I somehow didn't get uh, anything <laughs> about that. It's a comedy. Oh, in yeah. 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 It just sounds like a really boring slog in yeah. American politics. Hopefully this hasn't been a terrible slog. This has been Choose Your Pop. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back soon to make more picks from pop culture on behalf of Good Thins. Goodbye. Goodbye.